What's up, everyone? I hope you're having a good night. Tonight, we're going to be talking about Gore's Guggenheim SPAC, currently trading hands at $10.40. This is not financial advice. Trade and invest at your own risk. Gore's Guggenheim is a SPAC that is set to merge with Polestar in a $20 billion deal, and the merger should be complete around mid-2022. Polestar was once Volvo's racing skunk works, but it's morphed into a standalone offshoot jointly owned by Volvo and its Chinese mothership Geely. Its cars are built in China. Volvo invested $800 million in Polestar, and it has close to a 50% stake. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio is also invested in Gores Guggenheim. He will not divulge um, exactly how much he has invested, but I'm sure it's a considerable amount. Now, here's the great thing about Gores Guggenheim. You have a chance to get into a great company at a very low price, um, $10.40. And I'm going to be going over the charts and showing you why I believe $10.25 is a great entry point. Um, though I think even if you pay $10.30, you're getting a great price. Now, we can see here that the 52-week high is $16.41. Um, so again, you see how low the stock has been beat down. Great price right now. We've seen a low of 10.14 January 28th. And then a low of 10.20 on January 28th, which is why I'm projecting you should be able to get in for about $10.25, $10.30 at most. I think that is a great price to marry this stock for a long-term entry. And this beauty right here is the Polestar 1. Woo! Look at that sucker right there. Starting at 156K. This beauty right here is the Polestar 2. Starting at around 46K. This beauty right here is the Polestar 3. It'll go into production in late 2022 or early 2023. Nice looking ride. Just look at that beautiful ride right there. Now, this is some information I would just like you to take screenshots of. I don't have time to obviously read all of this. And look at that rapid expansion. They are projecting definitely a nice. Love to see that. More about their expansion. Good news. And they met their sales target. That's good news from January 11th, 2022. Thanks everyone for watching. You all have a great night and I will see you on the next one.